Let's go see this my speech. Uh, my audience is my parents. Um, so basically I'm doing the hospital board speech. Um, ladies and gentlemen of the, of the board, I come to you and I want to ask you one question before I start my speech. Who owns you? Um, within the construction of the American, um, system, um, we've adopted a bill of rights that go on in our constitution. Human rights is, um, is healthcare not a human right? Um, and the purpose that I want to have the board recognize is the struggles of Americans and how we relate and who causes that sort of stuff. The qualifications are, I've been a doctor for seven years and have seen a lot of people come and go out of that door. Um, I basically want to highlight in my speech um, the struggles and who causes those struggles and what we can do to combat that. Um, going into my first point, um, basically one of the things is just cost. Cost is a huge struggle in the healthcare system. Um, and a study by uh, Chris Coffey on the on an article that he wrote, it states that um, ambulance rides cost between $300 and $2,500. Um, not to mention, basically, like, you can't, um, you can't, we can't treat people who are not in their, in their network, like, not in their insurance network. And basically, insurance costs and like healthcare costs, like according to Kareen and uh, Cox, a study done by them, um, healthcare insurance costs are basically healthcare costs twice as much in the United States as other places, such as in Europe and other places that provide um, healthcare for their citizens. Um, and with that being known, we can move on to the perpetrators of these costs and these struggles and such. Basically, one of the basically the perpetrators are the insurance companies and the pharmaceutical companies. Basically, a prescription in a span of twenty years had gone from about five hundred dollars to around um, around ten hundred dollars um, just within the span of twenty years, and five hundred dollars is a lot, not including inflation, according to a study by the GAMA Internal. Um, and another thing that they highlight in this um, study is that uh, the major contributions of pharmaceutical and insurance companies when it comes to campaigns for um, U.S. elected officials. Um, and with this in mind, like we can't do a lot of things with people that don't have insurance or don't have the cost. Also, if we're not in there, like I said before, if we're not in there we're not on their network, we have to say, oh, well, we're going to die. Um, that's basically one of the concerns that I have. And moving forward, I'd like to suggest how we, not necessarily solve this problem, but how we can combat it, because us as a hospital can't undermine the roots of a, a weed in our society that's that big. Um, basically, um, things like generics... Um, and a study done by looks like basically once generics are made, costs go down and stuff because they're more easily produced. But things like insulin um, are not really produced. But what we can do is we can um, fund those types of um, studies on um, generics and alternatives to um, basically medicines that cost a lot and make them more affordable to the masses. And maybe even we play their own game. We lobby since the voting and the polling is not working in, in our favor, and are in, the, are in the favor of our patients. And I now move on to my conclusion. With all the, with the stuff that's highlighted, the struggles of the American people, who causes these struggles and how we can combat this, I ask the board uh, if they are behind me. And basically, I would like to leave um, the board to think about this. Who do you work for? Who owns you? 
And what do you want to be known for? Do you want to be known to take money from people? Or do you want to be known to make people be healthy and happy? Thank you.